My name is Danelle Sador and I'm the Director of Print Solutions at Grand Rapids Community College. We have a full staff design um, crew here who, of course, as you can see, they like to be creative and like to produce um, quality products. And we have our customers here on campus are looking for more quality versus what they used to do in the past. And in doing so, we had to look at demand. Um, turnaround time became quicker. Deadlines became tighter, and the traditional offset presses just weren't working for us, especially since we just had two color press, not four color press. And we were looking for something that didn't break our budget and something that didn't cost us a whole lot in renovation. Um, so the DP60 seemed to fit our needs and give us the quality that we were looking for. And it's actually been um, a product that our press people have been really impressed with as far as digital because of some of the other equipment we've had that's older. Um, they were expecting something they would have to fight with or you know constantly work at trying to get color up to par. So overall we've been really fortunate and impressed with the quality products that we're able to produce for the the customer and the and the designers who are looking for that quality. Quality is something that our designers um, want to be able to offer to our customers and doing some little off the wall and some different kinds of um, colors, lots of photography. Um, we feel that portraying the, the image of the college and reaching that audience, um, we have to make our, our audience feel like they're part of that and we do that through photography, meaning students that actually attend here, um, live in the community. Um, so stock photography was something that we were getting away from and we're actually using intern student for the photography who is capturing um, what we do here. And so based on that, we have a variety of um, scenes, we have a variety of people. So color is a big um, advantage for us on this DP60 because we can get the, the skin tones, we can get the, the, the greens and the trees and the flowers and of course like I said um, color is a, is a variety today and some off colors that maybe are outside of that gamma that we have to try to go within so we've been very fortunate to get what we what we need for the color off from the DP60. We have a, a magazine that we produce every year for the English department and the art department. It's full of um, anywhere from photography to paintings for the art side, drawings to um, poems, um, stories, short stories. And the difficulty we had in the past was the black and white, the black and white photography, the black and white drawings. On the other device that we currently had, um, that we were doing it on wasn't giving us that black, that quality black that we needed. The, the gray tones were just not there, the levels of gray, the drawings were coming out a little washed out. The thing about the DP60 is we get a true black. Um, we don't have to try to mess with throwing a cyan in there to make it black. We actually have the gradients of the grays that come out really nice and being that we had the art department that was very particular about the the colors and the paintings and the and the black and the photography um, it actually is, is a good good product this year that we're very proud of and now that we have the DP60 um, we have partners that we work with um, the public schools other commercial printers who partner with us um, we partner with them, we trade off on things they can do, we send to them, things we can do they bring to us. And one of the things that we've been able to do with the DP60 is to offer outside service to those printers who don't have those capabilities, but they have customers that need something like that done and knowing that we can do that, we've, we've been able to do that and, and the quality has come out really nice. The other, the other area that we want to tap into with our public schools is to get back to doing maybe some of their color products in order to show them some of the things that we can do with our, our DB60 and how they're target marketing to um, parents of the community through some of the specialized schools, the art schools, the science schools, that we can portray that through um, color print. 
The other, the other thing that um, we've been able to offer is we had an open house, invited internal and external community folks and other printers um, to come in and see what we could do with that machine. And we had a lot of excitement about the um, magnetic substrate that we can print on um, for like save the date for weddings or an event that's coming up that they wanted people to have repositionable fabric that we can print on for folks so they can do some advertising and it's a date that they want somebody to remember and they can put it on their wall or their refrigerator or their cupboard or even their desk monitor um, things of that nature extended paper size um, that we haven't been able to do on a conventional press before um, we were only able to do a 20 by 40 sheet now we can do a 13 by 47 sheet of paper. Um, the plastics, um, I'm trying to think of other substrates. We, we've got a whole variety of offering now through other companies that are giving us options for substrates. So we're kind of excited about being able to come up with a, an actual campaign for somebody, not just traditional paper. So we're excited about having that opportunity.